For number four, it's asking what happened here. And it tells us that it could either be a reflection or a rotation. A rotation of 360 degrees means it went all the way around and back. So if you have 360 degree rotation, that means that you're back to square one. You're back at the original placement. These are in different places. So that's not going to work out. So now I'm left with three different options. If I had reflected my original, which is this one right here, across the x-axis, here's my x-axis. If anything is on that axis, then the prime would be at the same point. So B prime would be right here. H prime would be right here, which is not the case. So I know that it definitely cannot be a reflection across the x-axis. So now reflecting across the line y equals x or rotating 270 degrees. If you know the rule for rotation, x, y, 270 degrees, find the opposite of x, switch the x and the y. So if you know that, then you can plug in some points and see if this holds true. Or what you could do is you could say, okay, I'm assuming that my point of rotation is going to be the origin because it wasn't stated otherwise. If I draw my line from k to the origin and k prime to the origin, it looks like 90 degrees if I were to go from here to here. But that would be moving clockwise because you need to look at where your pre-image is. My pre-image would have to go clockwise 90 degrees to get here. And I can see that this is a 90 degree angle. So it looks like 90 degree clockwise is what I'm looking for. I can also double check by going from P to the origin and then the origin to P prime, which is also 90 degrees moving in that clockwise um, movement. So it looks like 90 degree clockwise is what I'm looking for. However, that is not an option here. You need to remember that 270 degrees counterclockwise would mean I'm going 90, 90, 90. 90 times 3 is 270, which is the same as me going 91 way. So 90 clockwise is the same as 270 counterclockwise. So it's going to have to be B. For number five, we really need to know our rules. So for number five, it says that we have these vertices and they were rotated 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. So our rules in our wrap really only work for counterclockwise, but 180 degrees clockwise is the same as 180 degrees counterclockwise. So I can leave it as 180 and it'll be fine. So my rule for that, 180 degrees, Find the opposite of both, leave the x, leave the y. So for 180 degrees, all that's happening is your signs are changing. So instead of it being 2, negative 2, it will be negative 2, positive 2. And negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 3. Negative 5, negative 2. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. The numbers and the placement stay in the same place. All that changes is each number goes from positive to negative or negative to positive. So I'm looking for negative 2, positive 2, which only gives me this as an option. Negative 2, positive 2. But that was not the case for any other ones, but let's double check. Negative 1, negative 2. Negative 3, negative 3. Negative 5, negative 2. So we are good. 